Hello, today I'm going to create a program that solves the adventure game module from the game Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. We see the name of a monster at the top, and panels we can cycle through that'll give us a lot of information. As the name implies, this module is supposed to replicate a generic adventure game by giving us stats, weapons, and items to use against the monster we're fighting. We have to first use all of the usable items and then select the weapon that will do the most damage to the monster. Let's go over the monster first. We are fighting a dragon. According to the manual, the dragon has 10 strength points 11 dexterity and 13 intelligence. Before we go over our stats, let's look at our items first. I'll explain why you want to get information this way in a bit. For our weapons we have the longbow, copper, and magic orb. Our items are the symbol, bellows, potion, lamp, and step ladder. Going back to the manual, we can see a list of all the possible items we could have had in our inventory. To the right of each one is the condition that tells us if we use each item. Looking at the potion, we can see we have to always use this item and it changes our stats. This is why you should look at what items you have first in order to not waste time saying information that can be useless seconds later. Let's use the potion and see what our stats are. Strength is 8. Dexterity is 7. Intelligence is 5. We are 3 foot 3. It's 38 degrees outside. Gravity is 9.2. And the pressure is 107. Let's see which other items we need to use. Starting with the bellows, if fighting a dragon or an eagle, use if pressure is greater than 105 kPa. This one is true, so we're using it. Lamp says temperature is less than 12 degrees C. This is untrue, so we don't use it. Stepladder is used if the player is shorter than 4, and fighting an enemy other than a goblin or a lizard. We're using it. Finally, the symbol is used if fighting a demon or a golem, or if the temperature is greater than 31 degree. True. Now we must find out which weapon we're using. We can see the amount of damage each weapon does depends on our stats. Starting with the copper, it uses our strength points as damage plus the bonus points to the right, so 10. We then subtract the amount of strength points the dragon has, which is also 10. So the copper does zero damage. Now we must do the same thing with the longbow, but use the dexterity stat. 7 plus 2 minus 11 gives us minus 2 damage. The damage for the magic orb is calculated by subtracting 13 from 4, leaving us with minus 9. The copper does the most damage, so we will select that. We are fighting a wizard. Our weapons are the longbow, copper, and nasty knife. Our items are the bellows, hard drive, small dog, lamp, and the potion. We use the potions to change our stat to 11 strength, 9 dexterity, and 7 intelligence. We are 5 foot 11. It's 18 degrees outside. Gravity is 10.2. And the pressure is 105. We're using the hard drive and small dog. We see for our weapons that we have a tie for most damage. It doesn't matter which one we pick as long as there is no weapon that does more damage. We're fighting another wizard. Our weapons are grimoire, nasty knife, and magic orb. Our items are the potion, bellows, crystal ball, trophy, and symbol. Using the potion changes our stats to 10 strength, 7 dexterity, and 5 intelligence. We are 5 foot 9. It's 0 degrees outside. Gravity is 8.9. And the pressure is 95. We use the trophy and the nasty knife.
We fight a golem. We have the nasty knife, magic orb, longbow, stepladder, trophy, moonstone, sunstone, and small dog. Strength is 8, dexterity is 3, and intelligence is 9. We are 3 foot 10. It's 26 degrees. Gravity is 8.8. .8. And the pressure is 112. We use the stepladder, trophy, small dog, and the magic orb. Finally, we are fighting a goblin. We have the magic orb, longbow, nasty knife, hard drive, ticket, feather, bellows, and balloon. Strength is 1, dexterity is 3 and intelligence is 9. We are 3 foot 8. It's 45 degrees. Gravity is 10.9 and the pressure is 118. We use the balloon, hard drive, feather, and magic orb. This module's GUI was a pain to implement since there's so much information that is needed from the user. I decided to start with putting a combo box at the top of the form because that is relatively where this information is found on the module. I then decided to use checkboxes to tell me which weapons and items are used. I then created another form that asked for the stats. The reason why I did this was because I know that three of the stats can change depending on if there is a potion or not. I didn't want the user to write more than what is necessary. Now what if I told you that everything I did is not in the program? I didn't like the idea of this module having more than one form because I feel like the user would spend more time trying to move all the windows where they want than just having one form. I was still nervous that the user would give me the old stats in case there was a potion. I was in a predicament. Spend more time coding a form that does the same thing which possibly won't save as much time or keep with what I have and have the users have a bad experience. I decided that making one form is better than knowing that I decided to ignore the problem. Here is what it looks like now. I decided to use a label that tells the user to use the potion before inputting anything. I decided to put it as close to the enemy combo box so that the user can't miss it. They will still have to add the check if the potion was there since I coded the form so that it won't progress unless 5 item check boxes have been ticked. Regardless, I like this form better than the other ones. It still takes a while to input everything since the user has to keep moving their mouse back and forth to cycle through everything. One thing to note about this form is the height box. I couldn't find a format that is easy for the user to type feet then inches. So I instead asked just for the entire thing in inches. That meant that the solver had to convert all height checks to just inches, 
but that wasn't too bad. For the solver, I started with creating an item enum to represent each item in a weapon class to represent the three given weapons. The weapon class has a string to represent the name of the weapon and three ints. One for each stat, strength, intelligence, and dexterity. The constructor takes in the name of the weapon and assigns the stats based on it. I then created an enemy class to represent each enemy the module throws at us. It's pretty much the same as the weapon class. Same variables and same method to create the constructor. Once those were created, I parsed in all the data that was given from the GUI. I used ints for strength, dexterity, intelligence, height, temperature, and pressure. There was one enemy, three weapon objects and five item enums. I then created a method that would tell me how much damage a weapon could do. I first checked the name of the weapon in order to see what stat we are using. And then used an int that would tell how much damage is done based on the player's stat plus the weapon's stat minus the enemy's stat. The program then checks which weapon does the most damage. If there is a tie, the program will use the weapon that was inputted first. I then created a method that would take in an item enum and see if that item can be used based on its name. Even though the manual says the potion is always going to be used, in this point of the program, the potion should have already been used, so I set it to never use it just to avoid confusion.
I used this method to see if the item is going to be used. If yes, then it is added to a string that will represent the answer. It will do that for all of them, and then find the weapon that we're using and add it to the answer. The answer is then printed in list form. I made sure to always have the weapon last since it should be the last thing used. Let's see a demonstration.
Thank you for watching the video.